Ace of Vegas, congratulations on a thousand subscribers, man. That is awesome. I know that ain't easy. That's a lot of hard work. You deserve it. So uh, I got a question for you. This is Ray from Vacation Impossible, and uh, I've got an epic trip planned. I kind of always have an epic trip planned, but the next one's not to Vegas. And I've got a lot of my Vegas coins, and I know that you can use them in places that isn't Vegas. Uh, what I'm wondering is, is there a map somewhere that actually shows on a map geographically where you can use your coins that isn't Vegas? Because I've got an epic trip coming, and it would be great to just look at a map and say like, oh, hey, I'm actually gonna be close to somewhere I could use those coins. That would be pretty sweet. So if there's something like that out there, if you could point that to us, that would be a big help. That would be awesome. And if there isn't, maybe a video idea. Would love to see it. Thanks, and keep doing what you're doing. Is the Ace of Vegas, the Ace of Vegas. Hey there, Spitters and Sharks, Ace of Vegas here, responding to a request from our friend Ray at Vacation Impossible. So if you don't know, my Vegas slots and its associated apps aren't just good for Vegas trips, but other trips around the world. So today, we're going to take a road trip ourselves and show off all the other places in America you can use your My Vegas rewards. Let's rev it up! First stop on the trip is actually somewhere you can't get to by roads, unless of course you're Doc Brown. Hawaii actually does offer a few My Vegas rewards. If you've been too busy to take a helicopter tour of the city of Neon, consider one of the islands of Aloha. Maverick offers a few rainforest tours of Maui. From what I've heard, you even get to land and run around a little bit. It seems like a fun way to spend a couple hours, and $50 off the cost for 15,000 points isn't too bad. Nothing to plan your trip around, but it's a good idea nonetheless. Gotta tell ya, California knows how to party. There's an entire subsection of rewards called Uniquely California, and there's plenty to do. Pole position go-kart racing, the medieval-themed San Francisco dungeon show, and of course Madame Tussauds, which I'll admit is every bit as cool as the Vegas version of the museum, with a couple extras thrown in. No hotel comps to be found, but activities abound in Cali if you ever get tired of the animal attractions. San Diego Zoo, SeaWorld, San Diego Chargers? Or at least until Jurassic Park San Diego is up and running. One of the two. Now this one's kind of a cheat because you can actually do a bit of a two-part excursion here. Maverick's most famous and expensive reward is the two million loyalty point trip to the Grand Canyon. Though that trip actually leaves from Vegas, so while technically the reward happens in Arizona, it actually starts in Vegas. But fear not, there are alternatives to canyons. If you can't make it into Vegas to see the Shark Reef Aquarium, check out Sea Life in Arizona. It's a good time for singles, couples, and families, especially since the viewing bubbles are actually child-sized, in case your little marine by just needs to see up close. It's also probably the only way you can make a splash in Arizona, so keep it on your radar. No matter how you spell it, Ole Miss still has a trick or two up its sleeve, like some comps at the local Beau Rivage Hotel and Casino. Mississippi is definitely one of the stronger non-Vegas states where you can get rewards, partly because they do have a partnership with a full-fledged hotel and casino, but also because it's the same type of stuff you can get out of Vegas one. Drink vouchers, buffet passes, and the coveted room comp that made My Vegas famous. And if Beau Rivage doesn't work for you, slide on down to Gold Strike for that same My Vegas experience. Also, if it wasn't entirely clear, both of these are M-Life casinos. So if you're a Pearl or Gold member in Vegas, you're a Pearl or Gold member here too. I think it was Marshall Mathers that said, throw them hands up and show some love. MGM is at it again, and this time in Michigan with the MGM Grand Detroit. And thankfully, Play Studios didn't leave us hanging. If you can make it through the Motor City to this glistening gold paradise, you can take advantage of a few fun eats, including free apps, buffets, and of course, a dining credit at the Wolfgang Puck Steakhouse, which, if it's anything like his Vegas location, sounds well worth it. So I bet you knew Florida is a Disney-heavy place. Well, if you want Disney, go check out Princess and the Bear, and tell them that Ace of Vegas sent you. And if you want to see the rest of the cities, My Vegas has you covered. Tours of the Kennedy Space Center, Everglade tours, and even helicopter flight around Miami. Florida is a strong tourist destination, and Play Studios hasn't skimped on the tours. Comped and discounted, they're all here. The best part is, the tours are amazingly inexpensive. The most expensive comp is only around 25,000 loyalty points, less than a week's worth of casual play. 
MGM is still trying to negotiate their way into Massachusetts with the possible acquisition of Encore in Boston, but until then, they have their foot in the door on the East Coast elsewhere. If you're looking for free hotel rooms in Maryland, MGM National Harbor isn't the spot for you. But if you're looking for a few things to spice up the party, like free champagne, coffee, or oh, I don't know, a full-fledged VIP experience at Blossom Lounge, then I'd say you have a safe place to spend a few hundred thousand loyalty points if you have them to spare. Whip out your M Life card here too, they're part of the network and they love their Vegas customers. Despite Caesars having a virtual monopoly in Atlantic City, the boardwalk isn't free of My Vegas rewards. MGM's premier resort in Atlantic City, the Borgata, is also willing to give away some perks. A little free play here, a little match play there, toss in a free room at the Borgata, and it makes for a pretty good reason to visit Jersey. I gotta admit, I never expected my home state to get the casino bug, but it came and Resorts World capitalized on it. Needless to say, Resorts World isn't an M Life property, and will probably kiss it goodbye once they finish the final touches on the Empire City deal. But in the meantime, we can enjoy some free rewards in New York. Once again, mainly food and drink rewards, but what's nice is that Resorts World offers a pretty cheap gift card reward too. It's only 25 bucks, but it's only 25,000 loyalty points, so literal free money. Not much more than a couple days of spending in my Konami, but definitely worth it for some free souvenirs. I hope you enjoyed the tour of the United States of my Vegas Spinners and Sharks. If you enjoyed this video or found it informative, I'd appreciate the like. And if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button to check out my past and future guides. Next time we do this, I think we'll have to do a my Vegas World tour. But until then, Ace of Vegas is signing out. Strong hands and happy spinning, you guys.